Welcome to Culinary Confessions. I'm your host, Chef Mike. Today we're here with um, Kermat Thiek and Jennifer McIntosh, and they're gonna be doing a very unique um, uh, a dinner for us. We're, go we're not only gonna do it in English for you today, we're gonna do it in Thai. Um, but before we get into this, would you guys tell us a little bit about yourselves? Jennifer? I'm Jennifer, I go to Yale High School. Um, I'm graduating this year. I plan on attending SC4 next year for nursing, actually. <laughs> <laughs> nursing. Two years in culinary. We're going to nursing. Yes. That's all right. I need a good nurse. Uh, my name is Kermat Tilk from Algonac. I'm a senior this year. I'm planning on going to Macomb for uh, hospitality management. And um, I'm from Thailand. Okay. How long, how long have you been here? This is my third year. Uh, I came here August 2006. Mm -hmm. So. And before, just so we have a, a little bit of background here, before you came here, did you speak any English? I know five uh, words. Five yeah. words? Yeah, it was uh, hi, yes, no, okay, thank you. You're doing amazingly <laughs> well. <laughs> thank All right. you. Uh, I don't think I have an, uh, a grasp of the English language as well as you do at this point, okay? Um, how'd you get, how'd you start cooking? Jennifer? Um, at home, I, I cook a lot at home because my family doesn't like to cook, so I do, I do the dinners and stuff. Mm -hmm. And what, and what? I just, just make anything, I make, I love making pasta, spaghetti, Okay, anything. we'll get, we'll get into that in a little bit. Come on. Um, my mom used to own a restaurant when I was little. Mm -hmm. It was a seafood restaurant. Mm -hmm. And I see like people running around the, the way restaurants run, but it was in Thailand. And she actually changed it to bakery before we came here. And I was like, I didn't get, I was in school. Didn't get to actually get into it. And uh, after I came to America, I was working at the Vernier and get to washing dishes, see how the kitchen here actually run. And I just feel like, wow, I want to stand right there behind the line and cook the food for the customers. Well, good. Good. I'm sure you're going to be a good chef someday just by uh, both of you how how right out front you are and ready to cook and stuff like that. Now you say you cook at home. What's your favorite meal to cook at home? I like pork chops. Pork chops? I like to bread them and bake them after I fry them on the stove. At home, I don't even cook pork chops. My wife, Joyce, does an excellent job cooking pork chops. I don't even try. It's, it's, they're just not the same. So I'll be willing to taste yours back here too one day. So we'll have them for, for staff lunch or something. Kermat, what do you like to cook? What's your favorite thing to cook? Um, usually I don't cook Thai food at home because my mom does. So I try to cook, kind of like mix them together, like American, Thai, Italian, put mm -hmm. something together and try to make new things. So I, try, I usually come up with something new all the time and don't remember what I put in because whatever I have in the refrigerator, that's what I cook. That's what you cook? Yes. Okay. Uh, have, you, have you ended up cooking more now that you're in a culinary class at home than, than you did before? Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I mean, experience. people just expect you to do this? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And they ask questions and mm -hmm. they expect us to know it. Well, good. Um, are are either, either of you working? Yes, I, I do have a job. Okay. I'm currently not. Currently not working? No. And you want to do what? Nursing. Okay, so that's going to take a little bit, so you can't get any practice with that. But if anybody needs a, a, a couple cooks out there that are that are practicing chefs, we got a couple right here. Um, I'll vouch for both of them. Okay, um, you? Uh, I work at Dan Good Pizza, Twenty One mm -hmm. and Card. That's mm -hmm. our location because we have, uh, I believe, right now seven location. So um, I'm managing there. Help uh, actually ex. Uh, uh, assistant manager because we have uh, another general manager there right. and have a lot of responsibility. And you're co-oping from here also? Yes. Yep. Okay. So you're actually getting paid to go to school and, and do the co-op program. And you did work at McDonald's at one time, didn't yes. you? Yes. In Yale. <laughs> so we should, we should tell everybody that yeah, you do have some background in cooking and things like that. Um, what are your plans for after, after high school here, after, after tech? Me? Uh, yeah. After I planning on go to uh, four year college actually. 
because two years in Macomb, and then I want to transfer to Madonna. Uh, so, but the campus at Macomb, so we'll be a bachelor for hospitality management. And I'm planning on, so let's say five years from now, I'll be working in hotel, a hotel somewhere, and uh, learning how to run a hotel. And uh, I'm planning on going in uh, Korea, like Masood, mm -hmm. learn that kind of stuff too. So I'm looking at about 10 or 12 years from now, I either have a restaurant or a hotel. All right, and you're planning on doing nursing. Uh, what, what, what kind of nursing would you like Pediatric. to do? Pediatric. Pediatric nursing, you want, to, you want to deal with the kids and mm -hmm. stuff like that. All right, um, how about travel after, after high school, after tech? You, want to, you said you want to go to Korea, you want to do any traveling? Just in the United States. <laughs> Just in the United States. Um, so tell me, who uh, you watch the Food Network? A little bit. A little bit. Uh, I don't really have time to watch that and, much and anymore. And your favorite chef besides me? Um, chef Dan Stackpole. Okay. <laughs> uh, he's, he's not on a Food Network though. No. But okay. <laughs> who's, your, who's your favorite network star? Emerald. Emerald, and I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm gonna put you right on the spot. Yeah, this is hard spot because I don't really know much. Have you ever thought about like becoming a? A TV chef, instead of. I uh, never thought about that. that until after I see this program. The mm -hmm. I was like, oh, you know what? I'll try this first and see how I liked it. Well, today, yeah. today you're going to be a star. Okay, so but before we before we get uh, before we get uh, into the kitchen and stuff like that, I would like to give you uh, a, a chance to, uh, you know, address the the audience in Thai, and give them your little uh, a little bit of background, in in Thai for us, us because about here, about here okay. and and what you what we've talked about a little bit and then right after that we're going to talk about your dinner all right so go ahead อาชีพหลายๆอย่างที่ยังไม่มั่นใจว่าตัวเองชอบหรือเปล่าและนี่เป็นอีกโปรแกรมหนึ่งที่ดิฉันได้ได้ลองก็คือเอ่อลองทํา
กับพาซิวค่ะ And it's going to go great with c r m a n t s p e t s i u สำหรับเพื่อที่จะเพื่อที่จะดึงรสชาติของพาซิวออกมาเราก็เลยจะเริ่มต้นด้วยอะไรหวานๆแล้วก็ค่อนข้างเปรี้ยวนิดหน่อย First we're going to start off by cutting in half of a pineapple and we're going to cut the top off อย่างที่เห็นนะคะว่าเจน่าตัดพายตัดสับปะรดครึ่งหนึ่งวางลงแล้วก็ตัดหัวและท้ายออกค่ะ The top of the pineapple can be used as a garnish after, so we're going to save it. Oh, and you don't cut the bottom. And cut the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> and then cut the bottom off, and then flip it to its side. And you want to take all the skin off. I got to learn. And just make sure you get it all. And the last. And you can just throw those out. And you're gonna want to cut it in sections. Now, the chunks of the pineapple can be whatever size you would like them to be, because it's really your preference. If it is a salsa, it can be chunky or little, or it doesn't really matter. หลังจากปอกสับปะรดนะคะเจน่าก็ได้อ่อหั่นสับปะรดเป็นชิ้นเล็กๆไม่จำเป็นที่จะต้องเป็นเฉพาะ size. หรืออะไรก็ตามแล้วแต่ความถนัดของแต่ละคนค่ะแล้วแต่ความชอบ And uh, why Jana is cutting pineapple right now? I'll be cutting uh, green peppers for her. ในขณะที่เจน่ากำลังตัดสับปะรดนะคะดิฉันก็จะหั่น And we only need about half of that oh, thank green you. pepper. We'll use uh, half. Uh, ดิฉันก็จะหั่นแค่ครึ่งใช้แค่ครึ่งเดียวของ And we'll put this in the bowl. เราจะหั่นพริกหยวกเขียวเป็นชิ้นเล็กๆนะคะอย่างอย่างอย่างที่พูดไปค่ะไม่จําเป็นที่จะต้องเป็นเฉพาะเฉพาะขนาดหรือขนาดเฉพาะหรืออะไรก็ตามแล้วแต่ความชอบของแต่ละคนค่ะ This is really an easy dish to make. All you really have to do is cut everything up and mix it all together, and it's it's like one of the easiest things to do, and it's really really tasty. Now we're going to cut up some green onion. You can use about we'll use about three of them. It's really all colorful and blends well together. And just you want to cut it finely, so it will be little. แล้วตอนนี้เจน่าก็กำลังหั่นหัวหอมนะคะเราใช้ประมาณสามหัวหอมเท่านั้นเองแล้วก็ส่วนผสมทุกอย่างก็จะลงไปในในชามนี้ค่ะ And it's about it and just mix this in the bowl as well and now we're gonna juice a lime you you can use lime or lemon but you're only gonna need half it really It's really up to you and what your preference of taste is, but we only need half. เราจะใช้มะนาวนะคะก็จะคันน้ำมะนาวใช้แค่ครึ่งลูกเท่านั้นเองจะใช้ชนิดไหนก็ได้ตอนนี้เจน่าก็จะคันน้ำมะนาวแล้วก็จะใส่ลงไปในกับที่ทุกอย่างที่ผสมกันไว้ค่ะกับกับสับปะรด And you just juice it and spin it around and let all the juice fall out. You could really just squeeze it or anything. Just get the juice out. Make sure you get as much as you want. ก็แล้วแต่แล้วแต่ความชอบค่ะจะใช้มากจะใช้น้อยก็สามารถเพิ่มได้เรื่อยๆคือหลังจากที่ผสมแล้วก็ลองชิมดูแล้วก็เพิ่มเติมอย่างที่ตัวเองชอบได้ตามสบายค่ะ And then you can pour it in your dish แล้วก็ใส่ลงไปในชามนะคะ It also can And now we can cut the garlic And really you can just start by crushing it It's easier to Chop up, and we want it small. Take your knife and crush it, and then you can just mince. So I'll just ah, han, yang la yet, na ka, for the ah, ha, ah, ham. Make sure you keep your fingers out of the way so you don't get cut, and just try to make it as small as possible. And then that goes in our dish as well. Just to mince salsa, easy, easy, na ka, for the eating before the food. หรือ,อแล้วแต่ความชอบค่ะทานหลังอาหารก็ได้แต่วันนี้เราจะมาทำเราเริ่มต้นก่อนเพราะว่าเป็นสิ่งที่ต้องให้ให้อยู่ใน
เอ่ออยู่ในชามแล้วก็พักไว้วันที่เอ่อใช้ประมาณสองสี่ชั่วโมงถึงหกชั่วโมงจะเรียกว่า perfect ค่ะ And now we only need we need like half of a red pepper. So we're gonna put half of this in. เราก็ใช้เอ่อพริกหยวกแดงนะคะ Just draw this in. ที่หั่นไว้แล้ว Really colorful. แล้วก็เอ่อได้ผสมลงไปในกับส่วนผสมที่มีอยู่แล้วก็คู่เคาให้เข้ากันค่ะ You need about three tablespoons of cilantro. You you can use fresh or just the seasoning. แล้วก็ผักชีนะคะจะใช้เป็นเอ่อแบบแห้งหรือแบบสดก็ได้ค่ะให้เป็นสีแล้วก็เป็นกลิ่น and then you only need about a pinch of salt แล้วก็ใช้แล้วแต่ความชอบค่ะ and then just stir it off and then it's really good it's really easy to make and it's really sweet and spicy all at the same time and when I'm gonna let this chill and when we come back Kermatin's gonna make her pet see you Laura says we should start worrying about drinking at these things. They're only 12. I know. I'm just glad you know better, sweetheart. You're too smart for that, right, honey? Real kids are curious about alcohol. 40% tried by the eighth grade. Talk early, talk often, get others involved. Welcome back to Culinary Confessions. I'm Jenna, and this is Yoke, and we're going to make her pet see you. It's a noodle stir fry. You need to love her. Uh, with the live show, ค่ะดิฉันเคอร์มาทิลค์และเจน่าแมกกินทัชเราจะมาเริ่มทำผัดซีอิ๊วกันค่ะ And uh, first, I will start cutting uh the chicken. ก็จะเริ่มต้นจากไก่ก่อนเลยนะคะ It doesn't matter if it's boneless or bones in it. Just bone it. ไม่จําเป็นนะคะว่าจะเป็นไก่มีกระดูกหรือไม่มีกระดูกจะใช้ยังไงก็ได้ค่ะแล้วแต่ความชอบของแต่ละคนแล้วแต่ความถนัดหรือแล้วแต่ไก่ที่ได้รับมา Really, you just slice small pieces, right, Yoke? Yes, uh, I will have to cut them real thin because uh, well, we 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 gonna put everything else first because uh, if you put chicken first, it will turn black from the sauce that I have in the uh, the p a s i u So okay. we gonna have to put chicken. Kind of later than uh, we normally would uh, from other dish, you know. สำหรับผัดซีอิ๊วนะคะเราจะใส่ไก่เป็นเกือบสุดท้ายค่ะเพราะว่าเพื่อที่จะไม่ให้ไก่เป็นสีดำนะคะจากซอสทั้งหมด And uh, na, uh, and now Jenna going to cut my noodles for uh, my p a s i u And what kind of noodles are these? This is rice noodles. Uh, they use uh, rice flour to make it, and um, the unique of it is they steamed it. Okay, so. it's neat. It's gonna cut it in chunks here, and put it back in the bowl. And I'm gonna cut up your Chinese b a l k u r i And I'm gonna cut it up in chunks as well, like not smaller pieces. อันนี้ไก่ก็พร้อมแล้วนะคะขณะนี้เจน่าก็กำลังหั่นคะน้านะคะแล้วก็หั่นเส้นเรียบร้อยแล้ว Put it back in here. And now I'll be ready to cook soon. And next steps uh, will be eggs. We only use, uh, use one egg for our recipe today. We're gonna cook the egg or crack the egg in a bowl so we know that we don't get any shell in it. And make sure when you uh, crack the eggs, use a flat surface 
to crack the uh, to crack the eggs because if you use the corner or uh, off the table or anything, uh, you could uh, crack the shelf into the eggs itself. And now we're going to be start cooking. Oh, before then, Jenna, could you please uh, cut my, I mean, chop my uh, garlic? Yep, we're going to do it the same way we did mine. We're going to crush it. Yep. And just. อย่างเดียวที่ต่างนะคะสำหรับสับปะรดซอสที่เจน่าทำกับผัดซีอิ๊วก็คือกาลิกไม่หั่นชิ้นเล็กอย่างอย่างซอสค่ะ Do you need this first or no, ma'am? แล้วตอนนี้ดิฉันก็จะเริ่มจากน้ำมันนะคะลงกระทะ Can you pass me oil, please? Thank you. Go you have to wait till your pan's hot. Don't make it hot. And let the oil get nice and hot. หลังจากนั้นอย่างต่อไปที่เราจะลงไปในกระทะหลังจากน้ำมันก็จะเป็นเส้นนะคะ Because uh, the noodles is so uh, cold when it comes, we'll, we will put uh, noodles first, so it won't go um, like mushy or you know kind of like slap out. So we'll start from the noodles in the pan. Because the noodles long long, right? And you don't want to play with the noodles. You can like flip it once or twice. Yes. เราจะไม่เล่นนะคะก็คือพอเส้นลงในกระทะแล้วก็จะให้เส้นอยู่เฉยๆลงในกระทะซะก่อนเพราะว่าถ้าเกิดขยับไปขยับมาจะทำให้เส้นเละได้ค่ะ And how long completely does this take to cook yolk? Uh, I would say about seven or eight minutes, about two minutes for the noodles. Flip it once, twice. Quick meal. Mm -hmm. Sounds uh, good. ใช้เวลาประมาณ 7-8 นาทีเท่านั้นนะคะสำหรับการทำถ้าเกิดว่าน้ำมันร้อนทุกอย่างพร้อม8นาทีก็เสร็จค่ะ Like we said before you don't want to mess with them a lot you can just flip them once or twice stir them but let them sit for most mm, That smells good แล้วอย่างต่อไปนะคะที่เราจะใส่ลงในกระทะก็คือซีอิ๊วดำค่ะ Can you pass me a black soy sauce? The next step uh, of this is the black soy sauce is thicker and it's sweeter. Uh, sweeter and we can, uh, you can find it in an, uh, I would say like uh, Asian store or like Vietnam store those kind of uh, store would have all these uh, ingredients This is black soy sauce You put over the noodles. Go ahead, put it in the pan. And they're really just to absorb color in the noodles. Give the noodles some color. So the pan is now the color of the pan is from the pan is from the pan. And after that, we will start with garlic. Can you pass me garlic and sugar? เราก็จะใส่กระเทียมลงในกระทะนะคะ That's okay. It's hard. And let and our sugar. น้ำตาลนะคะ Smells really good, yolk. Thank you. And just stir it all in together. เราก็จะเป็นไก่นะคะต่อด้วย And then we'll go with chicken. And because we cut the chicken so thin, it's going to cook faster. That's the whole point of cutting it thin. You don't play with it a lot. You put uh, the chicken and the noodle separate, so you uh, so the chicken get all the flame on the pan, and uh, you can pass me the, the rest of the stuff. Right. Everything can go at once. There's oyster sauce. Oyster sauce.
ground white pepper. Ground white peppers. Uh, uh, thin soy sauce. And then salt. Okay. Uh, Next we have Maggie. Let Maggie. I like to put my Maggie in the pan to heat the heat because it gives you a aroma and actually uh, give you a really nice, nice smell. It does smell really good. And add the egg next after this. Yeah, Yes, eggs. Yes. And the last step is the vegetables. The Chinese valkyrie. And we're going to make it tight. And we're going to I will put the eggs and then I crack the yolk to have uh, and let it sit a little bit. You don't want eggs everywhere and mushy it. Uh, you want eggs sit and have cut and you'll see eggs everywhere in your, in your plate. And the last thing you put is a Chinese bakery. You want to make sure it's still crispy when you eat them. And the last thing is the And that will be the last of it. And this is the last thing. And then we'll get all of the things in the bottom. And while this is cooking, we're going to call the chef over and go to a break. moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Hi, welcome back to Culinary Confessions. I'm Jenna and this is Yoke and we just got done making pineapple salsa and her pet CU that and they're wonderful together and we're gonna, now gonna we're gonna plate them up so we can show you what they look like on plates. ยินดีต้อนรับกับเค้าสไลด์การค่ะดิฉันคือมาเทลค์และเจนน่าแมคเคนทาร์ชเราได้ทําเอ่อสับปะรดซอสเซอร์แล้วก็ผัดซีอิ
Welcome home, man. Welcome back to Culinary Confessions. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Does it smell marvelous in here or what? Oh, it does. Okay. Th that was really good. And what, what, what this really brings forth is that there's a whole bunch of flavor with just simple stuff. Okay. Onions, pineapple, and bell pepper. Who thought? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I like mine a little hotter than that. I'd like some jalapenos in there or something to make it really like a, like a pop of salsa. But this was, this was more wonderful. You know, a lot of people think that salsa, salsa is what tomatoes. Yes. Okay, but there's mango salsa and pineapple salsa and all kinds of different, you know, all different, all kinds of different combinations. And yours was, was is, it looks excellent. I can't wait to try it. Okay, come on, wow. <laughs> <laughs> what impressed me the most is you're going from Thai to English, from English to Thai from Thai to English, and back and forth like that. I got confused, and I was not I was just watching, okay? Um, I don't know how you do it, but kudos, okay? Excellent, and your, din and your dinner. Again, really simple. Um, simple being that there wasn't, you know, there, there's not enough, uh, there's not a lot of heat in things like that in there, but you had a whole mess of sauces. Can you tell us a little bit more about the sauces that you used? Yes. Uh, we use, uh, because in Thai it's all about flavor, mm -hmm. we use all a lot, um, a lot of seasoning. A lot of people thought Asian soy sauce, Asian soy sauce, kikomen. Uh, that's soy sauce too, but we also have other soy sauce. We have thin soy sauce, it's lighter, more water. We have uh, black soy sauce, thick one, the one that we use for this one is for color, for sweetness. Mm -hmm. We mix those with other things, and we have uh, oyster sauce. That's to bring the flavor. We don't use a lot of it. We also have fish sauce. If a lot of people would know, it's made uh, from. I I believe it's from. Uh, what did it call? Uh, like squid. Okay. That's fish sauce. That's all about uh, salty. Um, we have um, today. I bought Maggi. Uh, that's one other soy sauce too also. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about soy sauce, it's not just one soy sauce. It's so many different soy sauces that we have there. So and uh, it's all bring up to uh, s salty. Uh, some of them for uh, color, for sweetness also. Not just our saltiness. Well, I see, I've seen you, do, you put that, uh, you put the dark soy sauce in first and, and you said and, and, and it's a nice thing that you didn't turn everything the dark black like yes. the soy sauce was. And, and that, that was the reason for putting that in first? Yes, because uh, so it, uh, the noodle will suck it all up first, mm -hmm. the, uh, the black soy sauce. So now I don't have uh, the bottom all. Uh, let's say if you put uh, chicken first, eggs first, everything first, and you put soy sauce on the top, everything will turn black. Right. But if you have noodles, take the soy sauce out first and you put everything else in, it's just going to be brown or something. Itch. It won't be black as the soy sauce is. And okay. um, that's basically it. I did, as, as an executive chef, and I, you know, I've been cooking uh, a, couple, a couple more days than you have, but it's, it's nice to sit here and learn something new in, from a different culture. Now, I'm, I was under the impression also that most Thai food was hot. Yes. Okay. And I like it that way. No. Oh. But this is nice because, and you know, being a restaurant chef, I have had put I have had put things on my menu that were too hot for the for the customers. Okay. And this what brings in with the, with the nice salsa that you served. If they put too much of that chili on there, or mm -hmm. some, things like I did, they have something to something to um, to you know make a mild tongue out of out of all that heat and, and, and things that are in there. I thought it was excellent. Um, is there any way to make this dish uh, with maybe a different noodle? Uh, you used a rice noodle and you know everybody today is looking for um, I gotta lose some weight and uh. I'm eating too much salt 
and this and that and the other thing. The good thing is we didn't see too much salt going in here. Okay? No, not We've at seen all. a lot of saw, uh, sauces. That, that's, that's all the saltiness that you got. It's okay. From that? Each one is not a lot of salty, but they have other aroma of it. Mm -hmm. So What about the rice noodles? Okay. Um, can we make it with maybe a, a different noodle? Maybe a, a Yes, you sure can. I, I, I did try once in my house because we didn't have rice noodle. I mm -hmm. look in my refrigerator, I saw uh, the Chinese bakery. The only thing I think of is pasiu. Mm -hmm. with Chinese bakery in my, like the top of my head. And I found uh, linguine. Okay, and you use like a linguine? Yeah, I, I use like linguine that. instead, but I used, uh, I, because I had to cook off linguine first, so now I'm changing from putting noodle first, I, I cook off everything first. Okay. So. Well, it, we, can, we can lighten up the meal by putting like a, a, like a wheat noodle in there or a, yes. a gluten-free noodle or something like that. And then that would help out a little bit. Um, I, we, we use chicken, not so much in there. No. Um, the egg, we can take the egg yolk out of it. Yes. Or the yolk and <laughs> use, uh, we don't want to take yolk out of it. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> where did that come from, yolk? Uh, yolk, it... In Thai, it, it came from my mom. She just gave me, because everybody in Thailand, we have a nickname. Uh -huh. we, we don't have middle name. So, uh, and when you go by somewhere, and when they ask you, what's your name? You, 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 you tell them your nickname. And uh, my mom gave me this nickname, but in Thailand, it, it, does, it didn't mean egg yolk. Uh -huh. We didn't thought about Y-O-L-K. Well, that was a culinary joke. Yes. <laughs> but uh, the Y-O-K yolk in Thai means the jade. It's a stone, green stone. Jade. Jade. Okay. Yes. That's nice. what that's what yolk in Thai means. All right. I like, like I said, I love this thing. Uh, one other question I have, and I'm sure that the, the audience would like to know, are all those sauces and everything that you put in are they really hard to find? Can you buy them like Myers, or do I, you have to go to a, a specialty I store? I don't see from Meyer. I saw uh, I saw some like not all that I have. I don't see oyster sauce there. So some of the store, uh, some of them you have to buy uh, from, like Asian store, but they're everywhere. If you go some, uh, like Asian store or like Vietnam store or uh, some kind of Asian thing mm -hmm. that they sell there, you you would you would find all the sauce there. Okay. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to say in Thai and uh, before we close the show? <laughs> because this has been a wonderful segment. It it has. Um, I've learned something. So and that and that's great. Sure. So go ahead and you can address the um, the audience and say hi to your mom. สวัสดีค่ะต้องขอบอกว่าตลอดที่อัดรายการมาค่อนข้างตื่นเต้นแล้วก็เป็นรายการรู้สึกไม่ได้เขียนกระดาษไว้ไม่ได้มีอะไรทําไว้ทุกอย่างรู้สึกเหมือนสดหมดเลยค่ะฉะนั้นต้องบอกว่าต้องขอบคุณแท็กต้องขอบคุณคุณแม่ที่สอนทำตั้งแต่เด็กต้องขอบคุณทุกทุกคนที่นี่ที่ทำให้โยกรู้สึกว่าเป็นครอบครัวแล้วก็รู้สึกข้างหน้าภูมิใจตัวเองนิดหน่อยแต่ว่าถ้าเกิดว่าพูดผิดหรือยังไงอะไรเราไปต้องขออภัยนัดที่นี้ด้วยค่ะเพราะว่าโยกตื่นเต้นมากๆเลยเท่านั้นแหละค่ะขอบคุณค่ะ I've got to ask you what, did you want to say anything else <laughs> and say hi to mom or something. This has been a great segment, and I know you guys are both seniors, and you won't be back next year, but at least come back and visit. Okay. And thanks for joining us on Culinary Confessions. You're welcome. And thank you for joining us for Culinary Confessions. I've been your your host, Chef Mike.